Hello again everybody and welcome back to another edition of On The Range and today I'm in the F-86 Sabre to look at the communication system and go over the AN-ARC-27 UHF command radio set. Now communications in the Sabre works a little bit differently than it does in other aircraft so the system does bear a little bit of explanation. It's controlled by this panel over on the right console and I have a switch that controls power going to the radio. In the off position obviously the radio is going to be off I have TR, which is transmit and receive. I have TR plus guard receive, so I can transmit and receive and receive on the emergency guard frequency. And I have an ADF setting. ADF is not modeled or is actually not implemented, and that is correct for this model saber. So primarily, I'm going to be in either the TR or the TR plus G receive setting, and that's going to allow me to transmit and receive. Now where it gets a little bit complicated is the dial that you use to preset and to transmit and receive on a specific frequency. In other aircraft you manually set the frequency to whatever the flight or whatever the agency is that you're trying to communicate with. In this aircraft we have a series of preset channels, 1 through 18, and an additional guard channel which is represented by 0 or sometimes seen as G on this dial. So the key is to figure out what channel to have the receiver and transmitter in to talk to it, talk with the agency that you want to talk with. And that's where a little bit of mission planning comes into place. Let me go back to the mission briefing for this mission that I'm on and have a look at the information that we can get from that. The information that you need on what position of the dial corresponds to what frequency is going to be contained in either your mission briefing or within the mission planner that's available as part of the mission briefing. So let me select this mission. It's the first default mission for the F-86 first jet strike fighter and we'll see what we have. Now the mission briefing itself does not call out any specific radio frequencies, but that's not a big deal. We can figure this out on our own by going to the mission planner and seeing what we have here. So let me zoom out real quick. And I can see that I'm flying out of Batumi Airfield and that I have a flight of four aircraft. So the first thing that I can tell is that my flight is going to be operating on 225 megahertz. And I have this tab, it's called Radio Presets. I click the tab and there we have all 18 channels laid out with the frequency that each channel corresponds to. So my flight's on 225. I have 225 megahertz set to channel 1. So to talk back and forth with my flight, I just need to make sure that that selector is on channel 1. I also need to talk with the tower on this mission, so let me click on Batumi, and I can see that I have tower frequencies, 131, 40.4, and 260 megahertz. Now again, the command radio that we have is only capable of transmitting and receiving in the UHF band, anywhere from 225 to 400 megahertz, so 260 megahertz is the one that we need. So if I go back to my flight, I can go back to the radio tab, and I can see the channel 3 is set up with 260 megahertz, so I need to be on channel 3 to talk with the tower. Now, you might run into a situation where you have an airfield that just isn't listed on here. Uh, one that comes to mind is Naki Kolki. So if I click on it, 261 megahertz, and come back to my flight in the radio tab, you'll see that there is no preset for 261 megahertz. So what I would do if I wanted to you know, talk with another flight or talk with an airfield or anything else that's capable of communications, I can just click in either of these fields and I'll just type in 261. So now channel 2 will be preset and I can talk with Snaki Kolki airfield using that preset on channel 2. So let's get back to the cockpit and see this in action. And now that I have the correct settings, for the dial to correspond with the frequencies that I want to transmit and receive on, now I can start to communicate. So I'm in position 1 on the dial, I'll go to transmit and receive, and that'll allow me to transmit and receive on that frequency that corresponds to the one position. I'll also receive on that emergency guard frequency. So now to transmit a message to my, my flight, I need to depress the microphone button, and I have that mapped to my throttle externally. So depress the button, and I'll just give a command that is generic and will get a response just as a quick voice check. Flight. Anchor here. And there you go, I've got com good communications with my flight. Now to communicate with the tower, I need to go to position 3, and now when I depress the microphone button, I can select ATC, Batumi, 
And my only option is to request startup, even though that's something that I hate doing. And I should get a response, since I am set to the correct dial position that's going to give me the right frequency. Okay, and then once I'm done with that agency, I can switch back to my flight, which is on position 1, and hear and transmit messages back and forth to them. So that's a description of the AN ARC 27 Command UHF radio set. And hopefully that makes a little bit more sense to you now. That is a lot different than what we're used to in other aircraft in DCS as far as how the frequencies are set up and how we communicate with other agencies. But it does work. It just takes a little bit of planning beforehand to figure out what setting you need to have the dial at. So that's it for this video, and I hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time.